Change the old rugged cross for a crown. Just now, Sister Sinclair will take us to the throne of grace. To the old rugged cross, stained with blood so divine. What a wondrous beauty I see. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord, for that whole rugged cross. We could not make it without it. We thank you. We thank you for the blood that was shed on that cross. Mighty God. Remember your God. You could have called thousands of angels to set you free. But this morning, we give you thanks that you didn't. Because what would we do this morning? We would not have this full and free salvation. We would not have this privilege to stand and to sing about the whole rugged cross. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Most righteous and eternal God. This morning, Lord, your daughter stand in your presence. Mighty God, I ask that you will search me right now. You will cleanse me. Purge me. Mighty God, because if sin is in me, you will not hear me. And so, God, I ask to wash me now. As I come on behalf of the fasting this morning, Lord, I ask for a divine presence, your divine intervention this morning. Lord, I ask that you will come down in your Shekinah glory this morning among us. You will tabernacle with us, mighty God. Mighty God, let the enemy realize that the God that we serve, you are not dead. You are alive and well. And so, Father God, this morning, I present the fasting service in your hand. And I ask Almighty God that you will take full control. Cancel, Lord God, what you want to cancel. And you have your own way, sweet Jesus. Because, mighty God, we are not of our own. We belong it unto you. And so lead us this morning, God, in the way that you want us to go. Heal and deliver this morning. Mighty God, I pray this morning that the wounded soldiers that are among us will be healed this morning. That, oh God, you will pour in the oil and the wine into their wounds this morning. You will help us, Almighty God, that none of us, Almighty God, will go home with no wound that is not dressed by you this morning. So, Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you will come down, be with us. Let us feel your presence. Uh, come down and show off among us, Daddy, because you are our king. Oh, God, is only you we depend upon. And we know we are not serving a dead God. We are serving one that is alive because you live within our heart. You woke us up this morning. And so, mighty God, I pray this morning for the one that is going to break the bread. Mighty God, I pray that you will send a word into our soul, deep down into our soul, mighty God, a word from you, almighty God, we need. Mighty God, each time we come in your presence, uh, we need a word, because it's your word that keeps us going. And if we don't hear from you, Lord, what would we do? So this morning, I pray for the one that is going to break the bread. Ah, oh, God, I pray this morning that you will anoint him wherever he is, you will begin to touch him. 
from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Mighty God, I pray this morning for Minister Drummond. Oh, God, you know the devil is a liar. He's like a roaring lion. Mighty God, but I know that it, Jesus is only like a lion. And so help him, help her, and help us, Lord God, to remember that the devil is only like a roaring lion. But you are the lion of the tribe of Judah. So, mighty God, I ask that you will cover Sister Drummond as she continues to lead this fasting, as you continue to direct her. Mighty God, lead her in the way that you want her to go. Go. Mighty God, help her that she will hear 24-7 from you so that she can impart it unto us. Uh, open her eyes wider, God, so that she can see. Because, mighty God, many of us, almighty God, oh, God, we need deliverance. And so, God, we pray that you will open her eyes, that she will see, and she will do your will. Mighty God, have your way this morning. I pray, God, that you will continue to bless the moderator. Strengthen Sister Blackwood. Mighty God, you know every situation. You know more than us what is her problem, God. And so I ask that you will touch her body from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Give her the strength to continue to go on with your work. Because, mighty God, is only what is done for you that will last. And so, God, I pray for the musician. I beg you to touch Brother Kevin. Give him a fresh touch this morning. I pray for Sister Lucy, who will direct us, who will carry us through with the singing. Uh, touch her voices. Mighty God, you have ministry for each and every one. And so, God, I pray this morning that whatever is going to be done, it will be done to the honor and glory of your name. And I say thank you, Daddy. Thank you for what you are going to do and what you will continue to do in our life. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Just now, I'll call Sister Marcia, and she will read the morning lesson for us. Taken from St. Matthew, chapter 27, reading from verse 36 to 54. Can you stand for the reading of God's holy word? St. Matthew 27, reading from 36 to 54. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Um, St. Matthew 27, from verse 36 to 54. And the, it reads thus, And seated, and seated down there which with him, and seated down there which him there, and, se and they set up over his head his accu accusation written, and this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. Then were there two thieves crucified with him, one of them on the right and another on the left. And they that passed by reviled him, wiggled his head, and saying, This that destroyed the temple and build us it in three days, save thyself. If thou be the Son of God, come down from the cross. Likewise also the, the chief priest mocking him with the scribe and elders said, He save others himself, he cannot save. If he be the king of Israel, If he be the king of Israel, let him now come down from the cross, and we will believe him. He trusted in God, let him deliver him now. If he will be, if we will have him for, for the said, I am the son of God. The thief also which were, which were crucified with him cast the same in his teeth. Now for the six hours there was darkness over all the land unto the, the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice saying, 
Eli, Eli, Laba, Laba, Eli, Eli, Sabachthani. This is to this is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Some of them that stood there were when they were when they heard that said, this man call for Elias. And straightway one of them ran and took a sponge and filled it with vinegar and put it on a reed and gave him to drink. The rest said, let us be, let see us whether Elias will come to save him. Jesus, when he had cried again, cried again with a loud voice, yielded up the ghost. And behold, the evil, the, 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 uh, and behold, the veil of the temple was rent in twain from the top to the bottom, and the earth did quake and the rock rent. And the grave, graven were and the graves were open, and many bodies of the saints were slept, slept arose, and come out of the grave after his resurrection, he went into the holy city and appeared unto many. Now when the cru and now when the centurion and they that were with him watched Jesus saw the earthquake and those things that were done, they feared greatly, saying, Truly this was the Son of God. Yeah, and the portion of God. Oh, this, this. And many women were there, beholding afar off who have followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering unto him. Among were many Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and, jo and Joseph and the mother of Zebedee. Children were, when they were, they was come, there came a rich man of, of Arabathea and Joseph, who also himself were Jesus' disciples. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. And when Joseph had took the body, he wrapped it in a clear, a, a clear linen cloth and laid it on his own new tomb. When he had hewn out in the rock, and he rolled a great stone to the door of the sepulchre and departed. And there was Mary Magdalene and other Mary sitting over against the sepulchre. Now the next day, the following day of the pr preparation, the, thief pri the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate saying, Sir, we remember that their de de deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after the day, I will rise again. After three days, after three days, I will rise again. Commanded, therefore, that the sepulchre be made sure unto the third day, lest his disciples came by night and steal his uh, steal him away and said unto the people he is risen from the dead so the last error shall error shall be rose than worse than the first pilate said unto them ye have ye have a watch going your way make it as sure as ye can 6 and last 66 and last so that they, uh, so they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. Here and the portion of the God's holy word. We 
with hundred word of God. Hundred word. I hope we honor the word of God. Thanks be to God. Praise God, praise God. Thank you, Sister Marcia. That was the word of God. Thank you. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to ask you just to change your position a little again. Won't be long. Praise God, praise God. We want God to deliver us, don't he? We Come want on, God stand to set us free. Please stand on your feet. We want stand him to give feet. us a breakthrough, don't he? Glory to God. So as we rise in faith to sing, Mighty God of Daniel, stand by me and deliver me. Mighty God of Daniel, stand by me. Mighty God of Daniel, stand by me. I know you delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Mighty God of Daniel, stand by me. Oh, mighty God of Daniel, stand by me. Mighty God of Daniel, stand by me. I know you delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Meshach and Abednego, mighty God of Daniel, stand by us. God bless you all. Glory to God. Keep the worship going. Keep the spirit of the living God up. And you will receive as we continue to look towards his coming. God bless you all. As I hand over to Minister German. God of all and silence, stand by me. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, mighty God of Daniel, stand by me. Though you am not delivered, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, mighty God of Daniel, stand. Come on, if you like to do it one more time. Mighty God, mighty God of One more. 
together, man. Hey, Father, Father, and Silas, stand by me. Sister Lucy, when I came and heard you singing the old rugged cross, you don't understand when I entered the gate of the temple and heard that song. It, it was as if the song, the song light up the whole place because we are in Holy Week. I want you to do it again for me on a hill far away. Find it in the hymn now. 305. Yes, On a hill far away stood an old rugged cross. The emblem of suffering and shame. And For a world of lost sinners was slain. Hallelujah. So I cherish the old rugged cross. Hallelujah, hallelujah.
of God. God bless you, Brother Kevin. Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, isn't this the greatest song ever? Jesus, Jesus, hallelujah. I will cling. Jesus. Oh, glory to God. I feel the spirit of the Lord in here. This is Holy Week. This is Holy Week. It doesn't matter what I will cling. Sister Barrett, when we feel our feet shifting. Oh, kabaha, halabaha. I will cling to the old rugged cross. Grandma, I will cling to the old rugged cross. Either when the enemy wanted to throw you down in courthouse, you are to cling to the old rugged cross. Sister White, that Sister White, dear Grandma White, when certain things come before you and you realize they are so, you have to cling. 
When trouble comes upon us, we have to cling to the old rugged cross. My sister, when the horse of hell come to take your lives, they tore you, you had to cling to the old rugged cross. And one day, one day, soon, somebody say soon, soon, we're going to exchange it for a crown. Sister May, not no matter down here, you know, nothing matters. We're going to exchange it. We're going to say to God, see it here, take it from us and give us our crown. Lord have mercy. People from all over the place, Sister Lucy, send their love Thank for you. Thank you. Continue to work for the Lord. Thank you. My sister, Dwayne Park, come for me. It's Holy Week. And the Lord revealed something to me this morning. Come and sit right here. We need to give God thanks. Good morning, Reverend Blair. I greet everyone in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Early morning, Canada calling. We'll be praying for you, Sister Cottrell, from Canada. We'll be praying for you, Juliet, from Canada. We'll be praying for the regular Canada crew. We'll be praying for Sister Roxanne Jackson, Canada. We'll be praying for those of you from the United Kingdom. You're watching, you're watching. It's a different time zone. I think you're five hours ahead of us. But you're watching. We're praying for you. You can just type something in the chat. I know Darrell is hurrying home now in North London to catch the fasting. I know Sister Hannah sit down big and large to wait for the fasting. And they have, there are, there's another young crew. We know that D from the United Kingdom, you're watching all over the place. Ah, we know Sister Deline, you're watching from the Cayman Islands, Sherdine, and all the others of you, you're watching, Lord God of hosts, as far as South Africa. You are watching. I can call names of countries. Some countries I cannot call their names. But you are watching. You are tuning in on the World Wide Web. Reverend Blair, when Satan came to shut down the church with COVID, they did not know about the World Wide Web that is going to take the church further and throughout the world. Don't you trouble Zion. Somebody says Zion has the key. You think he spoke a song? He's our song too. Zion has that key. To open glory door. Don't you trouble Zion. Don't trouble the daughters and sons of Zion. My sister, you're going to be praying for the government. How are we going to pray that God, divine hand, will move in the government. That the angel and the Lord will go there and slay some of them in the spirit, in the middle of parliament. That's the God we serve, the God who part the Red Sea. We're going to cover our borders. We're not letting in. Demonic forces on us and our children. And the government. And when I say the government is not honorable Andrew Olness alone. Honorable Golding too. 
Because they had to agree on it. Did you know children arrived from Haiti to Jamaica? Put your hands together for that. The government sent and also the missionaries of the poor. Father Ho Long, Ram Kison, and his, his team, they have a mission out in St. Anne going up to the uh, a mustard seed, the mustard seed community. We're going to pray for mustard seed community. They have taken in the children, most of them handicapped. And their caregivers came with them. The government sent for these children from Haiti. All is not lost. The caregivers come with them. See their little eyes looking when they arrived in Jamaica. And they put them in a place because they have to screen them and inject them and take care of them. But when that was happening, the Lord spoke to me and somebody, my sister from England, called this morning and told me the same thing either. She said, when we have another God, we travel with with God. The church don't hear me. You saw me on my phone. I was looking for this scripture about Jacob's wife, Rachel. When God tell him to move, Rachel took one of the statues, one of the God, and she sat down upon it. And when they asked, do you have any gods in the camp? She sat down and somebody said, Rachel, why are you sitting down on that? I went preach it one day. Why are you sitting down like that? She said, I'm having my mental period. I cannot stand up. When the woman sat on the God that God said, you know, if you come with. So some gods, how are we are coming into the country? People come here and carry their gods. So any God that is coming in from Haiti, we shut you down this morning. We shut you down, we tear you up. We trample your hoary head and your face. We come against you. No God not go and travel with the children, Dorothy. He all about Shako Satabaha. In the name of Jesus, we confront every God coming in. With them across the sea. If you know the amount of miracles that have gone forth since this fasting, whole heap, whole heap. One lady that we prayed for here, she said, Are you here? Not you. We prayed for last, we prayed for a lady sitting here. Sister Maxine, are you here? No. And she said when she went to the doctor, all wear spot show up. And the doctor examined her after that, no spot, no show. And the big whatever has shrink. I told the fasting that healing is in here. It's up to you. Raw feet. Raw feet. I told you. And today or later we're going to stand up. And we're going to address whatever is bothering us in our bodies. We're going to address it. We're going to address it. A fire Tuesday today. And it is Holy Week. Holy Week and fire Tuesday. Sister. Over there. You're going to pray. It's not the sister alone going to pray up here. You're going to pray for the government to look to almighty God for divine guidance. Right here, you're going to pray that violence and gangs to cease in Jamaica because they're mocking God. Violence and gang must cease in Jamaica, for the church is awake. Over here, you're going to pray that divine angelic protection.
protection shall be over our borders. Negril Point, Moran Point, Rocky Point, the one over in St. Thomas, which other point? Galena Point. When they're setting up the satellites, that's where they set them at one of the points in Jamaica. And when you pray, the prayer shall go up to Blue Mountain. We're coming up to Blue Mountain. In a fasting today with fire, whatever buried on the mountains overlooking us. Blue Mountain. We, um, Reverend Shuttleworth was he able to send a team up to Blue Mountain to bury a Bible up there. Tarrant Baptist Church, EBC. Because the amount of things that bury up there to capture the nation. Blue Mountain Peak. Mount Diablo. John Crow Mountain. Mount, all the other mountains. We are sent up prior to the Holy Week. So come now, come, 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 come. We're going in, we're going in, as Valen would say. Government, to look to God for divine guidance over you. Violence and gangs to cease at this nation. Stop laugh after the nation. Stop laugh after the police force. You must cease and desist. Over here and over there, divine angelic protection over the borders. Come for me, my sister. Welcome, welcome Reverend Blair again. Come baby. Welcome Minister Patsy. Welcome all the pastors in the house. The council and the council member. Those who are watching online. On the World Wide Web, those the shut in. Mm -hmm. We welcome you this morning to our Fire Tuesday. God bless you, woman of God. This is what you pray for. Or you're going to pray, you know, as the spirit gear utterance. So we do it in here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Brethren, let us be on one accord. Because the word of God boldly states that those who come to God must believe that God is and is a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. God is faithful. When I pray, I believe and I expect answers because that's the God that I pray to. He's a deliverer. He's the lifter up of our head. And there is nothing impossible for him to do. Hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we magnify you this morning. Lord, we glorify you this morning. I lift you up and I exalt you, mighty God, above all else. Lord, there is none like unto you in the heavens or the earth. You are from everlasting into everlasting. You are the I am that I am. You are the Alpha and the Omega, Lion of the tribe of Judah. Lord, you are the all-time undisputed, undefeated defeated champion and so Lord this morning I come into your presence not because I'm worthy not because of any good that I have done but God you said that I am an advocate with the father that I may come boldly before your throne oh God almighty and I come this morning Lord in the name of your son Jesus Christ the only name given on earth whereby man shall be saved father God almighty this morning we lift up almighty God the country of Jamaica before you. Father God almighty we are very small on the map. We are very small in numbers compared to other nations but God I know that your hand is upon this nation mightily because God this nation has been doing great and mighty works for you. Oh God we know it's not by might nor by power but it's only through your spirit. Lord God 
God Almighty, this morning. We pray, Lord God Almighty, for the government of this country. God, you have chosen them to lead. And Lord, you know we need men and women of God to lead us. Oh, God Almighty, we need men and women who can bow before you and ask for your direction. Lord God Almighty, unless you lead us, Lord, then Lord, where will we go? What will become of us? Father God, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God Almighty, that your will and your will only be done in the government of this land. Father, this land does not belong to them. It belongs to you, Jesus. Father God, Jamaica land we love belong to you. As our anthem said, eternal Father, bless our land. Guide us with thy mighty hands. Keep us free from evil powers. Be our guide through countless hours. So Lord, we know we need you and we need your guidance. So Father God, I pray that Lord, you will send your angels almighty God into the affairs of the government that God almighty whatever decisions are being made oh God almighty will be sanctioned by heaven father God almighty I pray that self almighty God will be slain and crucified in the government and opposition a God almighty that you may be glorified that God almighty that your will and your will only be done in Jamaica. Father God, not the will of man, but your will mighty God. Father God, we need you now more than ever. Lord God Almighty, as the government, Almighty God has opened up the country to the children of Haiti. Father God Almighty, I pray for your direction. We pray for your guidance. We pray for your leading. Those Almighty God God will be their caregivers who will look after them. I pray for men and women of God. Oh God Almighty who will watch over them. God Almighty who will teach them your way. That will lead them in the path of righteousness. Because God Almighty your words said chain up the children in the way they should go. And when they are old they will not depart. God they are in our land. They are in our country. So now God they are a part of us. So God Almighty I pray for men and women of God that God Almighty that will instill your word, that will have devotion daily with them, that will train them Almighty God in the way that they should go. Men and women who will train them Almighty God to live righteously. Almighty God, help them Almighty God to denounce the God of their forefathers in the name of Jesus because you alone are Lord and you alone are sovereign. It's only you Almighty God you can do what no one else can do. Father God, this morning, we ask Almighty God for divine direction. Father God, the government need you. They are not willing, Almighty God, to acknowledge it. But God, they need you. And when one or two said, we need divine intervention, everybody come down on them and crucify them. But Lord God, we know it's the truth and we know it's only you can make a difference. We know, Almighty God, the security forces by themselves cannot do it. We know, Almighty God, that the minister of security cannot do it. We know the police commissioner by himself or herself cannot do it. We know, Almighty God, that you alone can break every chain, can break every fetter, and set every captive free. Mighty God, I pray, Lord God Almighty, and take a stand this morning against the criminal elements of this country. God Almighty, you know each and every one of them. They are running, Almighty God, some proper organization, very lucrative because they have the money and the sanction who live and who die. But Father God Almighty, I put them at the foot of the cross. And I said, God, under the anointing of the Holy Spirit, we place the foot upon the neck of the enemy in the name of Jesus. And we render them powerless. We render them null and we render them void. God Almighty, we step upon their heads in the mighty name of Jesus. God Almighty, the small 
morning, we decree and declare that they will not prevail over this land. Lord God Almighty, we look to you this morning. We look to you, Lord. We look to you, Jesus. There is no other help we know. And if you should draw yourself from us, where shall we go? Mighty God, mush up every plot, every plan, every scheme. God Almighty, we nullify them. Father God, your eyes are not locked. God Almighty, your ears are not deaf. You see, you hear, and you know all things. Mighty God, as they come together to have their conferences, mash it up in the name of Jesus. Father God, those who are in government, Lord God Almighty, who side with them, because we know, God, that they are those of them who side with them and have them in their pockets. God Almighty, expose them in the mighty name of Jesus. God, let them not continue, almighty God, to lead your people in corruption and death and destruction. Raise up men and women of valor, men and women of God to call fasting and prayer on the behalf of the nation that will encourage the nation to seek the face of God. Father God almighty, if we seek you, then Lord, we will have the victory because Lord, you said, call and you will answer. Oh, mighty God, this morning, God Almighty, we come and represent the borders of Jamaica. Father God, the length and breadth of this country, you know, that you have put it before you this morning. Father God, I pray that you will release angels on the waters of Jamaica in the name of Jesus. Father God, we put a cease and this is order on the criminal elements and the warlock and warlock and the witches and the witch doctors that coming in from all over the earth. Lord God Almighty, to turn your people again your will and your way. We are a godly nation. God Almighty, we come against them and we lift up a standard against them. In the name of Jesus, we back them back. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, send your angel God with flaming sword of fire to tear down and set asunder those who will not retreat. Father God, we send in a retreat our perish order in the name of Jesus because Lord your name must be fear people must know that Jesus Christ is Lord people must know that you live and reign in the affairs of man mighty God you are the all time undefeated champion father God almighty over 2000 years ago you appeared the cross on Calvary so father God almighty you go to hell I just say lift up your head oh he gets and be lifted up everlasting Door. The voice said, Who is the King of Glory? You said, The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord who mighty in battle. God Almighty, you already conquers hell, death, and the grave. In the name of Jesus, I cover every member. Oh, God Almighty, in this fasting, every individual. Father God, I don't care where they come from. I pray, God, that you cover them under your blood. I pray, God, that you will saturate them. I pray, mighty God, that no weapon of violence form against them will prosper in the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty God, I pray God Almighty for those of us, God, I pray that none of us will shield the gunmen and the criminals and wash the bloody clothes, but we will stand up for righteousness in the face of adversity. Oh, mighty God, Father God, give us the spirit of boldness because God Almighty, sometimes we live in fear, but they say, yeah, I'm not giving us a spirit of fear, but rather one of love power and of a sound mind. So Father God, equip us, equip us with boldness to face the enemy because we know him is like a roaring lion. But God him roar, but him can't bite. God Almighty him roar, but God Almighty him have to ask your permission to touch your people like he had to ask your permission to touch Job. So God Almighty this morning, equip your people with boldness. Equip them with the confidence, knowing that you will never leave them nor forsake them. Oh God, that you promise to be with them always. You say when they go 
go through the fire, you'll go with them. And when they go through the flood, it will not overtake them. Mighty God, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will have your own sweet way. I pray, God, for healing and deliverance in the fasting. God, I've benefited so many times in this fasting over the years. More than 15 years ago, you are the God who brought me here right at this altar when they tell me at university that I've first stayed cervical cancer. God, I walk in here and I never tell nobody, but you said to me, go to the altar. And when you pitch me down, you send the woman of God. Oh, God Almighty, Sister Blackwood. And God, I never speak a word, but your spirit speak and reveal. And God, up to this day, up to this day, I'm still standing. I never have to do a surgery because you are the bomb in Gilead. You are the greatest physician ever live. Mighty God, mighty deliverer, conquering lion of the tribe of Judah from 2003 until now. God, prove yourself mighty. Oh, mighty God, you are the same God yesterday. You are the same God today. And you're changed not. <laughs> mighty God, I glorify you for who you are. Father God, let no one walk out this way the same they came. Father God, send your angel at every door to stand guard. Father God Almighty, we come against the spirit of destruction that will want to come and distract the person. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We nullify you and we silence you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, let your will and your will only be done inside here today. Because God, your people need a word from you. And if we don't hear from you, then God, what will we do? What will we do, mighty God? So we need a word. And Lord, we await. We await your word. We await your deliverance. We await your victory. We thank you for salvation. Because God, I believe people in here who need salvation. I thank you, God, for those who are praying for their children and grandchildren. Father God, I thank you for your salvation, mighty God. Because Father God, you say you will curse the third and fourth generation up to it. That's it. You're but up to a thousand generation of those who love you. You will bless. And you're a God of your word. And you're not about to stop doing it now. So mighty God, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way upon every individual that will come at this podium. God Almighty, have your way. Father God, I pray for every minister of this fasting. Everyone that lead in this fasting. I pray for a special anointing. Oh mighty God. God, I pray God Almighty that even their shadows as they walk in this fasting will heal the sick and bring deliverance. Some chain will be broken. Daddy, we are expecting some testimonies of great and mighty things because Lord, it's a great and mighty things you will do. Lord, but if we only believe, Daddy, we thank you. Lord, I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for what you are doing and I thank you for what you are about to do. Lord, I lift you up and I exalt your name. Father, all praise, all glory, and all honor belong to your name. Daddy, I tell you thanks in the name of the Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And we call it done in Jesus' name. Mighty God. This is how it goes. Thank you, Jesus. Raise, stand up for me, church. Lord Jesus, those are shots. Boy, bullets. I feel the power of God in the place. I feel my very skin like needles sticking me. The power of God is here today. You come with your guns and your ammunition. We come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Buy you. Buy, buy, buy you. Buy you.
You come to touch the people of God. This one have eye problem. That one have eye. And boy. We shoot you down. Mama kusia boy. Cup your hand in the blood of Jesus. We're going to cleanse the place. Cleanse the atmosphere. Over here. You're going to turn that way. In the middle. You're going to turn on the altar. I need two people to represent the altar. Somebody come up on the altar. Now. Quick. On the altar. On the altar. Up there. Up there. Not the altar. The podium. Sister Lucy. I want you at the podium. You. I want you right here. So. Right here. Is that Sister Dawn? The Lord bless you. Sister Dawn. Reverend Dawn. Minister Dawn. God bless you. You look a little different. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Right over here. Watch me. You're going to watch me. Look at me. You're going to throw the blood. And when you throw the blood, not just, you just serve here like that with the blood. The blood of Jesus right round. I see Reverend Brown up there. So. so the blood going up to Reverend Brown too. Listen to me. I want you. Come on. Consecrate your hand. And cup up with the blood of Jesus. I want you to take over that territory there. I want inside here. You're going to take over the ceiling and the territory on the altar. Over there. You're going to serve you. You're going to take over that territory. Right round. And at when you reach number seven. I want you to spin and take over from the pulpit. Right round. And some of you throw some in the, in, in the churchyard. After three. One, two, three. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Two. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Three. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Four. Five. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Six. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want you to turn full circle now. Seven. The blood of Hello, Shamama. Clap your hands. Clap your hands for victory. <laughs> Minister Lucy, the blood prevails. The blood of the blessed Lord. Ah, oh, God, I will shandal of a Sunday. Oh, the blood prevail. Come on, army. Army of God. It's fire in Jesus. here today. The Jesus. blood prevail. The blood prevails. The blood of the risen We are the top marines. Power to save, just as in all and days. Even no matter what others say, ah. thank God the blood prevails. Sing it! Oh, the blood prevails. The blood of the risen Jesus. Power to save. Prevail, oh, hey. no matter no what others say. Thank God the blood prevail. Thank oh, God the blood prevail. The blood of the risen Lamb. Power to save. Just as he knows and tastes the blood prevail. For the 
Don't sit down. Walk out of your seat and cover somebody with the blood. Just go and just say, cover you and your family, your household with the blood of Jesus. Cover somebody. Come out of your seat. Cover somebody with the blood of Jesus. Cover somebody. Cover their household. Cover their children. Cover their vehicles. Cover their homes. It will never, never 
move out of your seat and hug somebody. Hug somebody. Get up. Hug somebody. To the lowest valley. Oh, yes, the blood, the blood that gave me strength from day to day. It will never. It reaches. Yes, Lord. Give 
me strength. Yeah, oh, yes. From day to day, it will never lose yes, Lord. its power. Yeah, it reaches Jesus to the highest Jesus. mountain. Touch that part of you that is hurting you. Wherever need healing, touch it now. Touch it. To the Lord. Touch that part of your body that needs healing. Oh, your son, the Mahanda. Oh, she of course. give me strength. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, see, Healing. Today. Healing. It will never, never. Never lose healing. It's healing, healing, healing. Healing. It will never lose. It will never lose. Come on, say it. It will never. Come on, say it one more time. Oh, it will never. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. We worship you. You may be seated if you can. Hallelujah. Lord, what a ministry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Minister Lucy. What a ministry. Hallelujah. We have Minister Dawn in the house. Yeah. What a ministry. And we see Sister Clark. What a ministry today. Jesus. Jesus. What a ministry. Jesus, Jesus. What a Jesus. ministry today. Jesus. 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 Worship God. Hallelujah. Worship Him. Hallelujah. Worship, 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 worship. Oh God. You may be seated if you can. Sister Olivine. Sister Olivet. We're staying in the presence of God. The angels of the Lord have come down. Jesus. The angels of the Lord have come down. They have come down. They have come down, Sister Mullings. They have come down. They're here. They're here. You're going to touch on families. Our women are dying. Dying violently too. And our men. So you're going to touch on family as the spirit give you utterance. And you're going to come against domestic violence. Then you're going to cover the ministers of the church. And their family. God bless you, men of God. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 That's the highest praise. Hallelujah. I sing a hallelujah to the Lord this morning. We raise a hallelujah. We raise a hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Awesome God. Awesome God. Your presence fills this room. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Majesty. We worship His Majesty, Sovereign God. We thank you, Lord. Another day of worship. 
We thank you, Holy Spirit, for ministering unto us in a supernatural way. We thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we place our families before you this moment. Oh, God Almighty, we pray that salvation will come to the house of our family this morning, Lord. Many, oh God, are struggling, Almighty God. But, oh God Almighty, where there are two or three gather in your name, touching anything concerning you, Lord, you're in the midst of bless. Many households, Almighty God, there's not one saved in the house, Lord. But this morning, God, we pray for even one God. One this morning, God. Every single individual here this morning represent a family God. And I know, Lord, without a shadow of a doubt, they are all not born again. So this morning, Lord, we place our unsaved families before you this morning. We pray, God Almighty, that they'll open up their heart to receive you, Lord, before it's too late. Oh, God, we pray this morning for backsliding families this morning who have turned away from the faith this morning, God. We ask you, God, that the prodigal son will return, that prodigal father will return, the prodigal mother will return this morning. We pray, God, for men, almighty God, in the family who are not born again, believer, God, we pray, Lord, that the men will take up the position because they are the priests. And if there's no priest in the house, God, their unit is dissembled, God. So this morning, Lord, we pray for our families this morning that salvation, almighty God, will come to our home, God. And without a shadow of our door, God, we know that you're here and you answer prayer. And we thank you, Lord, that salvation has come to our family this morning. We thank you in advance, Daddy Jesus. This morning, God, we pray to our women before you this morning. So many of our women, oh God, are in carnal relationship, God, and they bring abuse, God. Oh God Almighty, many are held against their will, God. They would like to go, Lord, but because of financial constraint, God, they sit in the abuse. But this morning we pray in the name of Jesus that they will arise, Almighty God, and look to you for help. We pray this morning, Almighty God, for those who are so downtrodden this morning that they refuse, oh God, to move out of the situation. This morning we pray for them this morning. We pray, God, for boldness. We pray against domestic violence in the home, God. Many cannot speak, God, and start to say, God, that in the very household of faith, God. Many, oh God, are suffering silently, God. But this morning we pray and we break the barrier in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We pray, God Almighty, that women, oh God, will equip themselves to be more independent, Almighty God. That they can help themselves, God. That they can walk away, oh God, from the abusive relationship, God. We pray this morning, Lord, for our children. Our children, oh God, are struggling to be children. Oh God, the homes, oh God, is a battleground, Almighty God. Our children are not safe in their homes, Almighty God. Oh God, they abuse, Almighty God, emotionally mentally, physically, and sexually, God, they are abused. This morning, God, we pray for the children, Almighty God. We pray, God Almighty, that you protect them, God. Your word says, suffer the little children to come unto me, for as such is the kingdom of God. This morning, God, we pray that you send angels in the home, God. Angels in assignment. Angels, Almighty God. Many are in the care of the Almighty God, in the institution, God. We pray for those, Almighty God, our the state, Almighty God. That, oh God, the workers, the caregivers, Almighty God, will be more loving, more kind-hearted, 
more tenderly. We pray for motherly love, Almighty God, in the homes, Almighty God, where these children are this morning, God. We pray, Father, that you will minister healing in our homes this morning. Oh, great God, we ask this morning that you will watch over our homes, watch over our children, watch over women, Almighty God, and protect them, God. Heavenly Father, this moment, God, we place our ministers before you this morning. Lord, we place Bishop Clark and his family before you this morning. We know God is not an easy task, being a minister, Almighty God. We know the task is great. We know the cries are many. We know the phone calls are many. But this morning we pray in the name of Jesus that you will give him wisdom, understanding, and knowledge. Lord, we pray that you will equip him, Almighty God, for the journey and the task ahead, God. We pray, God Almighty, just like our David, look after the sheep, Almighty God. We pray, God, you will give him the insight, the wisdom, the understanding and the knowledge to lead the mighty church of God in a time like this, God, where there's trouble on every hand, we pray, God Almighty, that you will, oh God, give him wisdom. Wisdom, God, understanding and knowledge to govern Almighty God, the body of the New Testament church of God Almighty God. And outside us to God, come many cries are coming, Almighty God, from various denominations, God. And we pray, God Almighty, that you will touch a man of God. We pray for Sister Clark, Almighty God, as she lead, Almighty God, in her own unique way, God. We pray, God, for physical strength, that you will touch her body. We pray, God, for divine healing, upon our body, God. And we pray, God Almighty, that mentally, God, you will equip her, God, to carry our task, Almighty God. And we pray, God Almighty, spiritually, she will be alert. I pray, God, you will open our spiritual eyes to see beyond the unseen God. I pray, God, you will open our spiritual ears to hear Almighty God. We pray, God Almighty, that you will anoint her feet, that wherever she put her feet, God, it will be divinely ordered by you, Lord. I pray, God, you will anoint her hands, that whatever she put her hands to God, it shall prosper, Almighty God. We pray for Sheldon, God, a young man who's growing up in you, Lord. We pray, God, that he'll walk into his calling. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will lead him and guide him and protect him, God, and help him, God, to make the right choices, Almighty God, when it comes to choose, Almighty God, aspect in the field where he works, Almighty God. I pray, Heavenly Father, for Shanice, Almighty God. I pray, God, that as she studies abroad, God, you will give her favor. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you will give her understanding. And I pray, God Almighty, that the field that she chooses to study in God, I pray, God, you will give her a second field, a second choice, God. I pray, God, that she will open up her horizon, God. Help her not to settle for less. The sky is the limit. I pray, God Almighty, that you will touch the brain cell. I pray, God, that you will anoint her, God. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will give her her own ministry, God. I pray, God Almighty, that you will open up our spiritual eyes. I pray, hallelujah, <laughs> ha, 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 
Lord, I pray, God Almighty, that you will help her to choose the right friends and the right associate, Almighty God. Lord God Almighty, when it comes to the final test, God, I pray, God Almighty, that you will help her retain, God, what she has studied, Almighty God. I come again the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. God, I pray you settled her, God. Settled her in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And calm her troubled mind. Put her troubled mind to rest, God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Daddy. Lord, I pray, Reverend Brown, and her family before you, God. I pray, God, you will continue to use her, God, as you have never used her before. I pray, God, for Brother Junior Brown, God. I pray, God Almighty, that you will open doors for him, God. I pray, God, you will give him favor. I pray, God, oh, God, that the right source him. We seek him out, God. I pray, God, open up the doors. Open up the doors, Almighty God, beyond the border of the Caribbean for the man of God. I pray, God, you will give him favor in a unique way, God. I pray for the children and the grandchildren, God. I pray your country to cover them, to protect them, to provide for them, God, to open doors for them, God, to touch their bodies, to touch their finances, God Almighty. God, I pray for Mr. Blair and his family, God. Lord, I ask you, God, as he take on the responsibility of mission, God. It's not an easy job, God. Oh, God Almighty, when many are running for missionary work, God, he has taken on the responsibility, God. And I pray, God Almighty, that as he goes, Almighty God, by the by where the edges, God, to preach the undiluted word of Jesus Christ. I pray, God, you will anoint and equip him, God. I pray, God, you raise a man and a woman around him, God, to help him in the vineyard, Almighty God. Oh, God Almighty, you say the harvest is ripe, but the labors are few, Almighty God. And we pray for the mission field, Almighty God. We pray, God Almighty, that you pour into that ministry, Almighty God. We pray, God Almighty, that you bless him and his family. Protect them, God, and guide them, Almighty God. We pray, God Almighty, for Minister Jaman and her family, God. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that you'll continue to watch over the woman of God. I pray, God Almighty, that you're counting to open our spiritual eyes. I pray, God Almighty, 2020 visions. God, I pray you anoint our ears to hear, Almighty God, continually. I pray, God, you touch our hands, God. I pray, God, our hands, we have fire in our hands, God. Fire in our hands, God. Fire in our hands, God. Fire in our eyes, Almighty God. I pray, God Almighty, that you cover her face. With the blood of Jesus. I pray, God, you put a shield around her, God. I pray, God Almighty, that you'll hide her. Hide her beneath the cross. Hide her, God, where the enemy cannot find her, God. I pray, Heavenly Father, that you'll anoint her feet. I pray, God, that she will leap over barriers. Leap over barriers, God. I pray, God, you'll give her hind feet, God, to walk and scale over the plant and the dart of the enemy, God. I pray in the name of Jesus that your hands will be upon your daughter, Almighty God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, I pray for a council, men and women, God. Oh, God Almighty, they have to stand with the man of God. And, oh, God, if they are not anointed and appointed and equipped, God, they cannot function, Almighty God. So I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless them, God. 
that you will raise them up to your standard, almighty God. Those who are far short and behind God. I pray, God Almighty, just like how you anointed the 70 disciples, Almighty God, in the Old Testament, God Almighty God, for them to function. I pray, God Almighty, that you anoint our council men and women, God, that as they carry out their daily task, God Almighty, they will be effective, Almighty God. I pray for their business, Almighty God. I pray, God Almighty, that they, oh God, will never fall short. I pray, God Almighty, that you'll cover them. Cover their vehicles. Cover their business place, God. Cover their homes, Almighty God. Cover their extent family, Almighty God. Lord God Almighty, I pray the membership of the Eastwood Park Road, New Testament Church of God. Lord God Almighty, I lift up this great congregation before your God. And I ask your daddy that you will continue, God, to provide for us. Continue to bless us. Continue to lead us, God Almighty. Help us, God, to be an example of the believe Almighty God. Help us, God, that we will not stumble. And even when we stumble, God, we'll rise up. And brush up ourselves, God. And start in the race again, Almighty God. I pray, God, for those who are weak, that you will strengthen them, God. Those who are struggling, God, you will lift them up this morning. Those who are sick this morning, divine healing will come to their families. Divine healing will come to their finances this morning. Divine healing will come to their business place, God. And I pray, God, that the conger worm and the caterpillar worm will not feed on our possession, God. This morning, I pray, God, that there will be no luck. I pray, God Almighty, that harvest will meet harvest. I pray, God, that our store basket shall never be empty, God. And I pray in the name of Jesus, you bless us, God, so we can bless others in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you, Lord, for that which you have done and that that we are going to do, God. And we give you all praise, all glory, and all honor be unto the Most High God because you do things that no one else can do. So we thank you, Daddy, for hearing our prayer this morning. And we say, to God be the glory. Great things he has done. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless you, woman of God. I want to greet our own beloved Sister Marsha Clark. She's here. Sister Marsha, just stand and wave. And we're dying to hear from you. So one of these days, Sister Marsha is the wife of our bishop. She's our bishop S, the female bishop. We have Sister Dawn from Bethel Bible because she's in her final year. Sister Dawn, stand for me. You have been helping in the fasting. You have been laying hands on. You have been praying for the people. The Lord bless you. Your day will come. We will hear from you. We have um, Sister Allen, wife of... Um, Deacon Allen, and we have with us Reverend Brown. She has come in. God bless you, woman of God. We need a lot of prayer for Reverend Brown, yes, and cover her health in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes, we have to carry her in Jesus' name and carry our bishop, Bishop Clark. You know I pull strength from you all the time. So God bless you. Always loved to see you, man of God, and certain time running by, and I don't see you. I say, Lord, I wonder where is Bishop if he's coming, but I know you're listening. I'm asking um, Reverend Blair to come, come up now because it's almost your time. You are going to be serving a double role today. Um, you're going to be praying for the missionaries. Say what you have to do on, about missions and go in the word. The word is coming to us today from our own Reverend Garfield Blair. Remember, we are in a holy week, and we have to bring up 
our hearts to the place this morning I'll cherish the old rugged cross. Hallelujah. So Reverend Blair, you're going to serve in two capacities. Time is, is running against us. So I'm asking of you just to do, just tell us about missions. Pray for the missionaries. Then you can maybe instruct Sister Lucy and go into the word. God bless you, man of God. God bless you, man of God. God bless you. God bless you, man of God, and strengthen you today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Somebody just worship him and adore him. Somebody just love on him and exalt him. Somebody just admire him. Somebody just lift him up. Somebody just bless him. Somebody just extol him. Somebody just tell him how much you love him, how much he means to you. Hallelujah. Somebody just praise the King of glory. The Lord of hosts is his name. He's worthy to be praised. He's king, he's lord, he's master, he's savior, he's redeemer, he's protector, he's provider, he's preserver. Somebody worship him. Somebody bless him and honor him. Somebody extol him and lift him up. Somebody magnify him. Somebody stand to your feet and just tell him how much he's adorable. How much he's adorable. How much you love him. How much you magnify him. How much you extol him and exalt him. Somebody bless the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the ending. Somebody just lift up the King of Glory. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Somebody magnify him. He's holy, he's righteous, he's pure, he never lost a battle, he never fails. Somebody just lift up the king of glory. Tell him how much you love him. Tell him how much he means to you. Tell him how much he's adorable. How much he's admirable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We worship you, Lord. We adore you, king of kings. We magnify you, Lord of us. You're excellent in all your ways. You're our deliverer. You're our maker. You're our redeemer. You're the prince of peace. You're the mighty God. You're the everlasting father. Somebody does adore him now. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you, Jesus. We bless your name. We bless your name. We exalt your name. You may be seated in the very presence of our own God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. You know, there's a wonderful thing when you worship the Lord. When you can find that in you to praise him. I know it's not something that we used to because we never used to do it before we get saved. So the things that we are used to, we, we easily can adapt to doing it. But God loves when we worship him. He loves when we adore him, Bishop. He loves when we magnify him and exalt him. The Bible says he seeks worshipers. He seeks people to adore him. He seeks people to magnify him and to extol him. Sometime when I have a challenge and I can't pray, but I can find a worship. I can find the time to just sit down in his presence and just worship him and adore him. And when I worship him, the presence of the Lord just come down and the presence of the Lord just consume me. So you must learn to worship the king of glory. You must learn to worship the Lord of hosts. Your deliverance is in your worship. Your breakthrough is in your worship. Your victory is in your worship. Somebody worship and adore. Somebody exalt him. He seeks worshipers. And you must worship him in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. So this afternoon I want to be a worshiper. Oh, when we reflect on what he has done. As we call this week, Holy Week. And we re reflect on the cross that he carries. Reflect on the Gethsemane that he prayed. Oh, reflect on the borrowed tomb that he was buried in. And reflect that he was risen as king, lord, and master. And when he used those words on the cross, it is finished. <laughs> what a word. What a word. It is finished. The transaction is completed. 
man have access. Hey, Lord Jesus Christ. Hey, what a Jesus he is. What a Savior. Turn to your neighbor and say, it's finished. It is finished. It's done. Seal, sign, and complete. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And that's why we can go on the mission. Because he has called us to bring good news to those who don't know who he is. And this afternoon we are blessed as a church. This is a mission church. I can tell you that. You have touched life in places that you have, might have never, been, have, have never have gone. But you have given, you have prayed, and you have sent. Thank God for the, this church, Eastwood Park. And we bless you, Bishop, that you have seen fit to empower this department in the church. And it has been doing exploit for the glory of God. And I must tell you, people here have been given. Every week, actually, we get support to purchase Bible. Every week. We have right now, last week, somebody came in and gave us money to purchase Bible, to send into those places. Sister Marjorie said she was going to be here. I don't know if she's around. I haven't seen her. Oh, she's here. She's here. God bless you. And also, she's here because she appreciates us to know that we adopt the ministry of her mission department in our fasting. Every Tuesday, we pray. For the missionaries that is out there. I think they're having a group going to Mexico soon. Am I right? In April, July, there's a group that is going to Mexico to reach some people up there in the Mexican. Um, Sister Marjorie, come. My pastor is giving you the pastoral privilege <laughs> to share on what your mission will be in Mexico and the other missions that you have been engaging. Two weeks ago, we had Impact Caribbean, and oh my God, it was awesome. Reverend Brown and myself and Sister Hines and a couple others were there. Thank you so much, thanks. Good afternoon, everybody. Wasn't expecting this, but I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much for the opportunity to share. So we are, so as um, Reverend said, we are, we just had our missions conference. Every year we have a missions conference called Impact Caribbean. And from the conference, we have what we call a field trip. So we give you opportunity to actually go. When we started two years ago, we went to Mexico to, among a group of people called Los Quicholes. It's actually spelled with a H. And we thought we were just, we would have been able to do it in one visit. But there are actually seven villages in the mountain range. And we were only able to do one. So I've partnered with Youth with a Mission. So last year after the conference, we went. And this year, we need to go back. It would be great to have couple of you guys join us. Um, I'm hoping to be able to go, God's willing. But um, it's, it's with Youth with a Mission. One of the things that we're doing with the Bibles now, I'm very excited to let you know that we're actually gone from the Gambia, which is where our focus has been, to a neighboring country called Guinea-Bissau. Twelve Bibles went there. Like 12 Bibles from Jamaica went to Guinea-Bissau, which I never even know there was a country called Guinea-Bissau until recently. So we are looking forward to going next April. So that's where you got April from. Next year, we're planning to go there. I'm hoping to go long-term, short, long-term, like maybe two, three months, and then invite persons to come during that time if and when they can. So you have time to save for that. And the work there really has multiplied tremendously. The fact is that they are hungry for Bibles. You give them up. My experience was I got to understand when 
you give somebody a water. You know, the Bible says to be hospitable. Let me tell you something. In the heat and the sand, that's a blessing. But equally, when you give them a Bible, it's like you're giving them water. And I know spiritually that is so, we're giving them life. But trust me, the appreciation that, they, that you see for a Bible, you know, and they use it. It's not like us who have more than one on a shelf somewhere. They actually use it, they read it. And one of the things we're involved in as well is Bible translation. So we pray every Sunday at 7 about different projects all over the world. And one of the things I've come to learn is that Bible translation not just affects individuals and villages, common speakers of the language, but there are actually people groups whose language is not recorded and has now to be recorded and properly developed. So we are actually preserving cultures as we, as a, a byproduct, so to speak, of Bible translation. So this is very exciting. I'm really very grateful for your partnership and look forward to doing more with you guys. I'm available to help any way I can. And, you know, thanks again. God bless you all. God bless you. <laughs> and though the Bible said, call on no man suddenly, it means woman too, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Sister Madre. Much appreciated. And as I said, um, we partner with her and we also partner with OM. That's the group that Sister Ains and um, Reverend Brown went to in Ghana last year. And they too have a mission trip coming up um, in July and September to London, England, which I am trying to see if I can go on a couple of us to minister to a set of group there. So, and remember, OHIM is the, is, the, is the group also that facilitate the ship, Logos. Remember that ship that you come to Jamaica, the Bible ship, so any, any one of you here that you see fit that you'd like to serve on that ship for a short term, see us, we can arrange it, and definitely we'll give you some support to go into mission. So let us stand and pray for... And I want you to select a country that you must, you pray for. There are some countries out there that is very hostile towards Christianity. And I want you to put them before God and pray that God will continually, because this is one of the things that Jesus said in his word, pray for the harvest, that the Lord will send forth harvesters in the harvest. So I'm going to ask you to stand, please, shortly, and look to a country, pray for a country. Pakistan, India, Afghanistan, Yemen, Yemen, all those countries, China, Japan. Pray for Israel too as well. Russia, Chechnya, those countries, Ukraine. Pray for them because at this time, missionary is needed to bring the gospel of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you this afternoon that Jesus Christ was the first missionary that has came into this world. Father, we thank you that as we reflect this week on what he has accomplished for us to bring redemption, we are thankful that he came and he was obedient even to the death of the cross. Therefore, and wherefore, you have highly exalted him and given him a name far above every other name. At the name of Jesus Christ, we come today to you and we solicit your help, we solicit your support, we solicit your guidance, we solicit your counsel to send forth laborers, to send forth missionaries to reap the harvest. Father, you know those countries where the unreach are. And you have been penetrating those countries through different mission entities. We pray for the support. We pray, God, that you'll provide the necessary tool, the necessary persons, the necessary support. And you'll open those doors so they can go with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We pray for your divine protection as they go. 
We pray for your divine preservation as they go. We pray that you'll keep them and guide them as they go. We pray that you'll give them strategy and influence as they go. We pray that they will connect with the right person as they go. We pray, God, that you'll open the right door for them as they go. We pray that the gospel will be preached as they go. We pray that signs and wonders, miracles and deliverance will take place as they go. And we pray, God, that those who you have called will go. And they'll be anointed to go. They'll be empowered to go. And as they go, they will see the manifestation of your glory and of your presence. We thank you now for providing. We thank you for blessing. And we thank you for Eastwood Park, a church that has been giving. And a church that has been going. And a church that has been praying. Continue to bless us here as we look to you and we call upon you. Through the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, amen and amen. You may be seated. Hallelujah. I greet my pastor and his wife as they're here today, our associate pastor, Reverend German, and I don't see any council members. What I greet you all, some, oh, there's Sister Patsy. I greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I greet you, brethren, that has faithfully been here, that has been here every Tuesday, praying and seeking God. You know, one of the reasons why I love fasting and prayer, the Bible said these things can only go out. Hey, God Almighty. It never said this thing. It said these things can only go out by prayer and fasting. So what is that thing that is troubling you? <laughs> what is that thing that is affecting you? Today, it can go out. Today, it can go out. Today, you can get deliverance from it. Today, you can get your breakthrough from it. Today, you can get your victory over it. These things can only go out through prayer. That's a very profound word. Can only go out through prayer and fasting. Do it to see it. <laughs> do it and God will do it for you. As we, oh, and those who are online, I greet you too in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. As you reflect on the cross, the condition of the cross the the Christ of the cross and the purpose of the cross it is very important to understand what the cross of Jesus Christ meant to us what the blood of Jesus Christ has done for us and what the person of Jesus Christ has accomplished for us <laughs> the Bible says we were not, we were not redeemed with silver or gold. But we're redeemed with the precious blood of Jesus. Sister Lucy, I love that song, but I can't sing it. Oh, she's not there. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Near a Calvary's. Free. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Near Calvary's. Mountain, something like that. In the cross, be my glory ever. Till my rapture soul shall find rest beyond the river. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever. Till my rapture soul shall find Rest beyond the river. Oh, a day of rest is coming. That's what the cross provided. That's what the blood provided. A day of rest. What a day coming for the believers. So the Bible said today as I read from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 21. said, any man in Christ... Let me read it. 15, chapter 5, 15 through 21. 
And he that died for all, that they which live should not enforce live unto themselves, but unto him which died for them and rose again. Wherefore, henceforth, wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after the flesh, yet we know henceforth, know we him no more. Therefore, if any man in Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away, and behold, all things become new. I want to share on the topic this morning, living in Christ. Living a life in Christ. My brothers and sisters, you must understand when I look at this scripture and I recognize that the Bible said, I am in Christ. Do you understand that profoundness of you being in Christ? You see, the Bible said we are seated in him, in heavenly places, Bishop. You are not a normal person walking in a normal world because you are seated in heaven the places in Christ the Bible also said that our life is in Christ in God and first uh, Colossians 1 verse 27 said Christ in me the hope of glory so Christ is in you and you are now seated in him oh God almighty Hey, what a privileged position that he purchased with his blood. So we are living a new life now, Bishop. All things are passed away. But you know, Bishop, the struggle that we have is trying to live new while fighting the old man. Hey, Reverend, the struggle we have is that we are trying to adorn ourselves in this new man while we're struggling to let go of the old man. And some of us have been living with the old man for 25 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. So when you come to the new man now, it's a harder struggle. Because you are walking at the old man for so long that it's hard for you to give up some of the whole things. But I can tell you today, if you keep on living in the new man and walk daily in fellowship with him, then you recognize that you become new over a period of time. So the someone said, the things that I do, I do them no more. The places I go, I go them no more. Since I met Jesus, oh, what a wonderful change since I met him. So we must understand where our life is now. Our life is in God, in, in, in Christ in God. We are now seated in heaven, the places. You know that power that you have in you, sister? Yes, you are in Christ in heavenly places. Yes. Satan do on the right to you. Yes. Bishop, do we understand? Sickness can't touch you unless Jesus says so because you are in him. Yes, yes, Your life is hidden in him. So anything that God allows him, allow it. Because your life is hidden. You don't understand somebody that is hidden. <laughs> I can't see behind the curtain, Bishop. Because there's some things that is hide behind there. And that's how God of our life in Christ. It is hidden. So we don't need to worry about what is happening outside because we are hidden inside. And sometimes the challenge we have before is the whole man America still worry about the outside. When we are inside. Hey, we see, because you see, we are living in a natural world. And we see the natural things. And sometimes it's hard to understand the spiritual thing. It's hard to understand that the Bible says, Lo, I am with you always. Yes. Oh, you must understand that when you don't see him with you. <laughs> In the natural bishop, you don't see him with you. But he makes that promise to say, Lo, I am with you always. always. Not one day, not some day. Always I am with you. Yes. So we struggle with this reality. I've not seen him, but believe that he is. And seen the situation and facing it. That's the struggle we have. And that's why the believers must understand that the just shall live by faith. Faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please him. You know you get saved by faith, so you have to still live by faith. Oh Lord Jesus, can I talk to your church today? 
Your life is hid in God, in Christ. In Christ, in God. You're not living a normal life. Your life starts in heaven when you accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. The Bible says he raised us up far against principalities and powers. That's where your life is. Your life is far above what? Principalities and power. And let me tell you, church, the blood that Jesus Christ provided for you, provided these things to you. You see the blood that was shed on the cross? That precious blood? They couldn't break Jesus' feet. Because when they reached to Jesus, he was dead already. But you know what they did? They pierced his side, Sister Claire. So all the blood that was left inside had to come off the cross, oh Lord God. Has to be dispelled from the cross, Bishop. All the blood. Because there was no blood supposed to leave inside of him, Bishop. He's supposed to bleed out all of that blood before him going to the, in, into, in, into, the, into the tomb. So when they came to him and they checked him, they said, I'm dead already. So what we're going to do, and the, the Bible said, they put a pierce of, and they pierced him in his side. And blood and water gush from him. Oh, what a wonderful redeemer. He bled and he died for us to provide for us this relationship with God. That which was lost in Adam is now attained through Jesus Christ. And I love the prayer of St. John 17. He said, Father, make them one. Even as we are one. The privilege that we have in Christ is that God is with us. Jesus is with us. The Holy Ghost is in us. Pastor, we have everything from God with us. Huh? Stop letting the Adamic man tell you that you are nothing. And that you are weakling. And when a situation faces you, you feel like you don't have no vacative. You have vacative, Bishop. You have vacative that Christ is in you, the hope of glory. Don't make Satan and the devil and the flesh and the world tell you that you are nothing. You are something in Christ. You are someone in Christ. You are his purchased possession. He purchased you with his blood. And he's able to keep you with his blood. Oh God, talk to me in the church. You are blood bought. Blood protected. You are covenanted related. Talk to me. Covenant related. True blood. <laughs> I don't know if you understand that. Everything that God have. You have it. You know, sometimes why we don't receive it yet? Because we're still doubting and worrying. If we ever understand where we are in Christ, we don't worry about nothing. Talk to me in the church, man. Every condition that you face, you don't worry about it. You laugh at it. And say, Lord, I'm coming up the rough side of the mountain. I know you're going, you're going to see me too. That's what, that must be your, your aptitude. You must, Lord, I'm coming up the rough side of the mountain. And I know you're going to see me too. I know you start me by faith. You covenanted me my blood. And I'm protected and preserved. Through the blood of Jesus Christ. You know, Bishop, when the children of Israel came to the Red Sea. You know the irony of that? God has given Moses, Reverend Brown, a rod to work with. And God showed him the rod. And the first encounter him had, him said, throw down the rod. And seven of Pharaoh, magician, threw down seven different rod. And the Bible said that Moses' rod eat up all of them. And God said, take up the rod. You know what God was saying to Moses there, sir? Once you have this rod, you cannot be defeated. Use it when it's necessary to use. That's what God was saying to him, you know. And right through Egypt, him used the rod, Bishop. And when him come to the Red Sea you now, them a cry and ball, Bishop. Them a ball and cry. He said, Lord, you carry out here for me. we dead in the wilderness. You couldn't leave us in Egypt. Make we die and get a good burial. Oh, Jesus. Eh? Because children of Israel are supposed to, the Jews are supposed to bury out in a wilderness. They're supposed to put place in a tomb. So that would be a really despicable, despicable thing for them to, to be to dead in the wilderness. Not understanding that God set it up 
that Moses needs to use the rod again. And Moses will cry out to the Lord. Lord, this is the people of our whatever. God said, what do you have? You start with faith. Finish with faith. Bishop, what you used to get to you? Not faith? So every time you face in a condition, go back to faith. Lord Jesus Christ. Talk to me now, church. Every time you face in a condition, look to faith. In God, in Christ. You say no weapon form against me. That's faith. <laughs> I shall not die, but I shall live. That's faith. My God shall supply my need according to his glory. Faith. He that dwelleth in the secret place shall abide. Faith. Talk to me now, church. You start with faith, finish with faith. So Moses starts with a rod. Finish with a rod, you complain. <laughs> Bishop, use the rod. I said, God, what must I do with this rod? I use it already, or I must use it now. <laughs> hey, Jesus. I love Jehoshaphat, you know, man. Jehoshaphat went before the Lord and he said, our well, eyes are on you. Lord, we don't know what to do, Lord. But our eyes, my faith is on you. My faith look up to you. Talk to me in the church. You know, I, I read the crucifixion story. At Matthew chapter 28, they were born. All of them, quite a few of them, they was mourning and complaining and wondering. And a few of them, including the centurion, said, truly, this is the son of God. Bishop is a few people in the Bible that identified Jesus as the Son of God, you know. You know that? He's a few people. And he was one of them. I said, truly, this man, oh God Almighty, can I talk to your church? Know him truly. That when you face with a condition, you can say, truly, he's my deliverer. Truly, he's my way maker. Truly, he's my healer. He's my protector. Truly. Some of us have too much option. And we're up away from God because we have the options. Oh, Lord Jesus. But I don't have my option. I have to say, truly. He is my savior. Truly. He's my deliverer. He's my way maker. Oh, Lord God Almighty. Can I talk to the church? Your life is hidden in Christ in God. What are you worried about? Bishop, let me shake your hand. God be responsible for you. <laughs> Sister Clark, and are you responsible for Bishop? It's God. You only assist him in his journey. But it's God responsible for him. Because you can't take over God's problem. When you need healing and strength of God. When you need direction, it's God. Talk to me now, Bishop, man. It's God through Christ responsible for you. Oh, Lord God, so you're going to be able to be an orphan and then we control your life. Yes. God, are you run things? Yes, sir. And if you bring me to the Red Sea, you must take me over. Yes. Talk to me now, Bishop. Because you're responsible for me. Yes. Hey, Lord God, use faith, man. Use faith. Yes. And let me tell you now, the second journey that they have, Bishop, was to get over Jordan. Yes. And Joshua said, all right, then come clean up on yourself now. Sometimes, you know, when you are going on something, you have to clean up yourself. And, 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 and we lay aside, the Bible says, the sin and the things that easy, what? Beset us. Take away the, the strife and the, the malice and the this and, the, and all of that. Put it on one side. Do reflection and then do rejection. You hear me? Do reflection and then do rejection. Hey, God Almighty, you look in and then you look out and then you take out. Hey, Bishop, talk to me, Bishop. You're looking? Oh, Lord God Almighty, the Holy Ghost is saying, you must look in, then look out and take out. Hey, if you want to go where Jesus is taking us, look in. That's what he did at Calvary. That's what he did at Gethsemane. He looked in. He looked in, Bishop. And he prayed. And he said, Father, nevertheless, not my will, but thy be done. He looked in. He looked out. Ah, Jesus Christ. Can I talk to the church today? So Joshua said, we're going over. Clean up. Can we go over? And the Bible said, they sanctify themselves. Bishop, when God tells you to step in our problem, you know, it's an amazing thing that, you know, because God tells them to step in the Jordan. 
him never say use a simple one, him never say use a stick, him say you step in. Can you allow God to make you step into some situation? Yes, sir. And you not complain? Hey, Bishop? Hey? When God brings you to Eastwood Park, you think say, some problem never there here? Okay. And God says, step in it. Because me are going to use you to fix it. Hey! Because we're going over. We're going to Canaan. And we're stepping on some problem to get to a promise. Jesus stepping on some problem. When he went to Calvary Cross. <laughs> him stepping to Pilate all. Problem in a bishop. They might cruise him for us. They are light on him. <laughs> but he's stepping the problem. To reveal the promise of God. To reveal the purpose of God. To reveal the presence of God. And to reveal the person of God in our life. And today we are seated in him. Far above principalities and powers. God have your back. God have control of your life. Every part of it. Because your life is hid in Christ. Talk to me in a church. Don't live under privilege, man. You are privileged people. And Jesus prayed for us. I love that prayer in a bishop. Jesus has shared them. Share the same glory that we once have. What a prayer, man. Church, you are privileged people. Stop walking around like you are some orphan. And when situation reach you, 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 you back up and back off. And you feel God. Today, we are walking in a new man, which is Christ. Because we are seated in him. Nothing must move you. That's why Paul was so. Paul was a man of faith. Paul said, I'm more than conqueror. To him what? That loved me. And gave himself for me, Bishop. I am more than conqueror. You know what that means? Nothing that I face can conquer me. I'm more than it. <laughs> it's simple. If it's food, fall hungry many times. So I conquer hungry. I'm not going to teach because I'm hungry. Come on, church. I'm not going to tell life to get something because I need it. I am more than conquer. I can conquer hungry. I can conquer life. Whatever I face, I can conquer it. What shall separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus? How who shall separate us? Yeah? Angel, things to come, things, nothing was able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. So my brothers and sisters today, I want you to understand this, that God have you covered. And God is responsible for you. Listen, you see when a man buy a slave and bring him home, that man responsible for that slave. It's his property, Bishop. He purchased that slave. So I'm telling the slave where to do, what to go, how to feed the slave. Everything is the man's responsibility. So when Jesus purchased you and redeem you, it's his responsibility. It's his responsibility. And I like the word redemption in a bishop. And I like the word redeem. Because that means something was there before. And I get it back. <laughs> Talk to me in a church. Something that was there. Bishop, you know one of the greatest things that the Lord Jesus Christ has get back to us. Is to move sin. That separates us from him. And move in. I don't forget that. He moves sin. That separate us from him and then he move in. <laughs> Somebody needs to shout for that. Because in the garden, man has free access. God come down in the cool of the day. Some like, like it when it's cool. I can't even God like it when it's cool. And the Bible says God come down in the cool of the day and talk to Adam. And the man have a fellowship bishop. And Satan don't like it and decides to mash it up. Huh? And then God have to say, come out of the garden. No, Lord God. God was so upset. Because God has said, look at, oh, I love mankind. Look at the fellowship that I had with them. And they make Satan mash it up. But then Satan never know that Jesus was a lamb before the foundation of the world. And Jesus, God set up Jesus Christ to come back with redemptive work. Set up Jesus come to come back with redemption. Come back, Jesus, come back with restoration. Set up Jesus to come back. <laughs> 
That's why when Jesus was on the cross and him said, it is finished. It is finished. Everything that Satan have against man, done at Calvary. And everything that God have for, for mankind, start at Calvary. Hey, Bishop. Everything that Satan has and will do to man, stop at Calvary. And everything that Jesus Christ has for us through God, start at Calvary. What a God he is. What a God he is. That's why Jesus said, he makes make full show of Satan. Strip Satan. And he said, Satan, go down to hell. And he said, Satan, give me the key. A long time lack of people. Give me the key, Satan. And he take the key of hell and death. Spoil principalities. I make a public show of them. Bishop, can I talk to you? Cancer, sickness, disease can kill you. Jesus have the key. Reverend bro, demon or devil can't stop you. Jesus have the key. I don't know if you understand that. Bishop, you, you know why sometimes we don't get what we need to get sometimes. We don't understand the, the authority we have and the person we have. You know what the Bible says? I have the keys of death and hell. You have the authority over your life. Nothing happened to you. I tell the devil that as a Satan, you can't do me nothing until Jesus, Jesus allow it. Yeah. I mean, step out. I mean, I step out. Yeah. Because I know when I step out, I know if I step in back. Because the Bible says, if you sin, you have an advocate. With the man, Christ Jesus. Eh? And if you confess your sin, he's faithful and just to forgive you and put you back in right standing, Bishop. So, uh, Jesus Christ, I don't know if you understand that. So, sometimes we mess up, you know. Sometimes we mess up, but we know where to go to. To get to mess clean up and get back in this trap, Bishop. So, Satan can't touch me. Satan can't do nothing. Oh, church, can I talk to you this afternoon? Understand what Calvary means to you. Jesus has moved you back into redemptive position. In restorative position, Bishop. Hey, church, rejoice. 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 Because Jesus Christ has paid the price to bring you back to God. That you can have a relationship now with God. So when you get up in the morning, you must say, I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Lord God Almighty, Bishop. That's what I am in a Bishop. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. Christ make me righteous. And because I'm righteous, I have a right to the kingdom. I have a right and privilege to everything that God has. Hey, we have access. Satan run we out. God run we out of the garden. But God, Jesus Christ, no. Give us access. <laughs> and Bishop, you know what I love about this access? It's that we are now seated in heavenly places. Bishop, you understand that? Man was exposed to the devil in the garden. Now we are in heavenly places. We're not exposed to Satan no more. Unless God allow it. That's, that's what it is. When man was on earth, Bishop, and God created man, Satan was right there within the garden. But the heavenly places that him have, we know. See, you know it's one of the times Satan go up there, you know, and the Lord says, Satan, where are you coming from? He said, to and fro the hurt, seeking who he made it for. So I realized he couldn't devour the body, Bishop. <laughs> so I guess he go up there and go have audience with the Lord. <laughs> because he couldn't devour the body, Bishop. Hey, can I talk to your church? You see, when Satan looked down and the demon looked down, all them see is the blood that cover you. <laughs> all them see, Bishop, is the blood that cover you. The blood that atone you. The blood that purchase you. And him can't penetrate the blood. So I'm going to ask God. Say, God, you build a fence around them to your blood. You build it with Job. I don't know him use and build Job, but him pull a head. But with we. A blood bishop. Blood covering revenge. Yes, blood. blood purchase. Yes, blood covering. Yes, blood upon his soul. So when Satan look, you see blood. Hey, church. And he can't finish the blood. You know why, Reverend? The blood is spotless. The blood don't have no sin in there, bishop. 
The blood now, the Bible says Satan come and find nothing in him. So Satan can't accuse him of nothing. When he look on the blood, he can't see nothing in the blood to accuse you. Because the blood is precious blood. This blood. Oh Lord God, I can't sing all I love to see. This blood of the spotless lamb. Ay, you know what I saw? His blood was just not like another blood. But it was the blood of the spotless lamb. His blood wasn't contaminated. Hey, God Almighty. So the blood purchased you. And the blood covenanted with you. And the blood keep you. Talk to me now, man. So nothing can do you. <laughs> nothing can happen to you. The insurance policy that I have on my vehicle, Bishop. They call it comprehensive. Comprehensive. And it comes with some feature, Reverend Brown. I was in... I was in New York, and my wife called me one night. The player of the car brought up with me on the boulevard. And I said, what happened? She said, I said, look at the, the windshield, it's a triple A. Call triple A. And when she called triple A, triple A come. Look on the vehicle, same time. And they said, okay, can't fix. And triple A get a wrecker, put it on the wrecker. And make sure she go home safe and sound. Can I talk to you, man? If man can provide such com protection for you, what about Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, the King of glory? Huh? He purchased you with his blood. He bought you with his blood. You are redeemed by his blood. He justifies you by his blood. And you have peace with God. Through Jesus Christ by the blood. Me and God that no war again, Bishop. Me and him used to be war, you know. Yeah. Because the Bible says we are empty when we walk according to the flesh. And the rudiments of this world were empty. We, 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 we weren't a people. We were alienated. Oh, God Almighty, we're far off. But Jesus' blood brings us back into rightful place and position. And we have peace with God. <laughs> Peace with God. Bishop, peace with God. The God that went the other day when I when I see the earthquake move. Jesus God. A terrible God. Bishop, when the earthquake move, the earth, I'm gonna sit down, I'm gonna get up, I'm gonna walk outside because I said, don't want this house drop for me. I'm gonna go outside, I'm gonna see the place. I'm gonna say, This is the God I come to know. I may have peace with him. Oh, somebody need to worship him. Somebody need to praise him. We have privilege to be seated. We have a privileged position. Church, if you leave through this reflection of Lord's Supper and watching of the saints feet this weekend and reflecting on Calvary's transaction, remember where you are in Christ. You are seated in heavenly places. And I don't know I want to explore that. Because why I'm saying heavenly places, Bishop? So sometimes I can move with, to different places. Sometimes I wonder, say, heavenly places. Because sometimes, just like when you leave, you leave Egypt to get to Canaan. Sometimes because God is still working on us. Sometimes we're at this place until we get mature and get another level. I don't know, Bishop. But he said, we are seated in heavenly places. And then Paul have an experience, Bishop, to his prior devotion. He said, I saw him in the third heavens. In the third heavens, he said, I saw him and I was caught up up there. So there's a different dimension that we can experience him. Lord Jesus. That's why this disciples have a problem in a bishop. When they were going over the other side. And there's Jesus asleep in the boat. And I've always said that the storm couldn't wake Jesus. So what am I worried about? And Jesus tell them, so we are going on the other side. But Bishop, you know what strike me? Is when they said, when Jesus get up and we blew the wind and the sea. And they said, what kind of man is this? There was a maze that this man could speak to sea and wind where they can't see. They see the sea, but they can't see the wind. They only get the effect of the wind through the sea. And Jesus said, peace, be still. You have a second day there. You have any condition this morning? That the blood of Jesus Christ, God's son, said, peace, be still. Peace, be still.
still. Talk to me in the church. Peace. Be still. You shall know what that mean? Stand still and make me go on. Peace. Be still. Don't affect me no more. I'm tired of you. Something ever said to your enemy, peace. Peace be still. They ever said to the problem, peace be still. You know, you, you, you know the question? Them ask. Them ask. Them one another at the funeral at Lazarus funeral. Because Lazarus have a double thing in them of a funeral. He have a burial and have a resurrection. In Bishop, he have a funeral, them ball and them everything and then they bury him. And then he have a resurrection. And know the question they ask, can this man who opened the eyes of the blind, I'm not, I would have caused this man not to die? That's the question they ask, you know. He said, can this man that opened, we see him open blind and die, but can he cause this man not to die? And Jesus said to them, because Jesus done prophesy about himself. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. So you're going to see what we can do, and you're going to believe before we can do. <laughs> and Jesus said, listen, man, you know, bury him, move the stone. And Jesus said, Lazarus! Reverend Brown preached about it Sunday. Resurrection power! He said, come forth, Lazarus! And Lazarus get an immediate transfer <laughs> out of the tomb. And come on, wrap up before them. <laughs> you know, Jesus have a good way of doing things, you know. He said, if Jesus had left him, yes. they would have wondered about, they would have wondered if it was Lazarus. <laughs> or who? So Jesus said, lose him. Make the people see that it's Lazarus. <laughs> hey! Make them see that it's Lazarus that was dead. He's not no meat. And everybody see him, Bishop. And realize that he, he was risen from the dead. What a God he is, man. Yes, he not only call him by his name, but he makes expose him. Yes. And says, see him there. You put him in the, in, 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 in the grave. See me raise him. I'm going to tell you now, Bishop, if, when Jesus has come, don't bury the problem. If Jesus is coming to fix it, where are you buried for? <laughs> you only give him a little bit more work to do. Because him say, I'm going to come. And him say, it's the resurrection and the life. So all you have to do is allow him to have his way. That's one of the biggest challenges we have in a Bishop, is to allow Jesus to have his way. We sing the song, we say, when we pray, let the Lord have his way, Reverend Brown. He'll fix it. He'll fix it, Bishop. I love the story with the lady and her son in the book of Kings. When she heard that the son dead, Bishop, you know what she do? She said to the man, suckle the ass. She could have bring the boy upon the ass to the prophet, you know. She could have done that. She leave the problem and hold on for the promise. You know the promise is Reverend Brown? She said it is well. Leave the problem, hold the promise. It is well. She never carried the problem, Bishop. She carried the message. It is well. Lord Jesus, somebody get this today. Stop carrying the problem. I carry the message and the promise. It is well. It is well. It is well, sister. It is well. Stop looking at the problem, Rev. Sister Hines, Sister Patsy. And carry the message and the promise. It is what? She never carried the dead boy. She go for the man who promised her. The, the man who speak. The man who God used. She said, come. The son that you give me. Why? Do you want to have confidence in the bishop? Lord Jesus. Bishop, if she never knew Jesus, and she could have so much faith, what about we today? The Reverend Brown, she never knew the Jesus when we know. She just have a word, and she work the word. And she just said, ooh, in care and dead. I don't enjoy the boy yet. The boy have a future. In care and dead, prophet come back. Come deal with the situation. That's what you must do. Leave the problem. Carry the message. And hold up on the promise. Leave the problem. The centurion said, truly, when everybody had cried, Bishop, 
And everybody that look for the problem said, Jesus dead. Jesus took a bury now. We thought this was him was the prophet that should come and redeem Israel. And I start to cry and murmur. And I realized that Jesus said, no man take my life from me. But I lay it down and I pick it up again. That's the Jesus you come to know. That's the savior you have, Bishop. No man take him life. Him lay it down for you and I. And him pick it up at the third day. And him say, come, come, come. You know, I love Thomas, Bishop. I love Thomas. People call him doubtful Thomas. But me call him hopeful Thomas. You know why I say that? Because, Bishop, talk to me. Sometimes you get a message from somebody about somebody. And you want to get the message yourself from the person. Yeah. Am I right? Yeah. Sometimes you don't want a third party information. And sometimes you argue over it too. Yes. Why never come tell me? Why am I going to send it to you? So, I believe, Sister Clark, that Thomas was a personal relationship with Jesus for over three years. Wanted to see him too. I want to have a personal relationship. So I'm saying, unless I see him and touch him. Bishop, Thomas pulled Jesus to himself. <laughs> and Thomas said, and Jesus walked in and said, Thomas, see me here. And then Jesus pulled out of Thomas who Jesus is to him. You know what Thomas said? My Lord, my Lord and my God. None of the other disciples said that. <laughs> But Thomas said, my Lord, Reverend, who is to you, Reverend? Sister Allen, who is to you? Who is to you, Sister Clark? My Lord and my God. And I look at that, the final bishop, he put him as Lord. You're in control of every, now I see who you are. Now I feel who you are. You are in control of, of every year of my life. Because you are my Lord and my God. Through this time of reflection, what he is to you? Huh? It's sad to say in a bishop. But one of the challenges that we have is to see Jesus as a fish and bread man. A fish and bread man. And church, can I tell you the truth? Nothing in this life is guaranteed as you walk this journey. But one thing is guaranteed is that Jesus is coming back for you to again. Him spend time explaining that to the disciple, Bishop. Him said, let not your heart be troubled. In this world you shall have what? Tribulation. But him said, be of good comfort. I have overcome the world. My brothers, you're going to have problem. Things will happen. Situation going to change. But you're an overcomer. Because your faith don't rest in this life. <laughs> Reverend, your faith, your, your faith don't rest in the car and the money and the house. Okay. You know how much people lose, Bishop? I have a friend. He have millions and millions of dollars. Can't be on earth. And today I walk up on the street. Do have nothing. But can I tell you, church? Jesus said, God, to prepare a place for you. And I'm coming back to receive you unto myself. That is the greatest legacy of this Christianity that we have. That Jesus Christ is coming back to receive us unto himself. This world is, is a pilgrim. We are in a pilgrim process, Bishop. We are a pilgrim passing through. Stop worrying about the things that are, affect you and, and worship the God who is coming back for you. Anytime you face with a condition, stop worrying about the thing that affect you and worry and worship the God, Bishop. That is coming for you. Bishop, you know, when I face a certain thing, I said, Jesus, better days are coming. By and by. <laughs> when the doctor tell me certain things, I said, Doctor, better days are coming. By and by. Because if Jesus dead and gone, then what about me? I forgot dead and leave one day. So don't worry, Doctor. No worry, Doctor. Bishop, you know, Bishop, why we don't want to die? Why are we afraid of death so much? And death is, a, is a, the greatest gate right now to get to glory if the rapture don't come. <laughs> Sister Marsha, I see some people live with some condition in the hospital. 
and they say, Lord, I want to go home. <laughs> when the suffering hit, take them. Cancer, cancer carry a pain with it, you see, man. You know where I'm going? Cancer, it carry a pain. I see people in the hospital cry, sister Patsy. Cancer. And if God choose to take me before me get to this, man, me happy go home. Now rejoice with him, Bishop. Because you know what, Bishop? To be absent from this body is a presence with the Lord, which is far better. Bishop, that's why Jesus never stayed too long, long here now. <laughs> he spent 33 years on God. <laughs> but we could have spent a little more long time. But when the Bible says, for the joy that was set before him, he knew what he had in glory, Bishop. Christian believers today, leave with this. If it's not anything you leave with, leave with this. You have a better day coming, a better place going, and a better body to wear when you get there. Jesus Christ, rejoice! Imagine, man, when he rose from the dead, he says, finish. It is finished. Your redemption, you redeem back to God. You have rightful place with God. You are now justified by his blood. God don't see you for where you were, what you was. He see you for what you is in Christ Jesus now. <laughs> you see the old man, Bishop, the Adamic man, he still want to bring us back. And I asked a question the other day. I said, why when the Lord save us, he never really just changed your mind? Because that's where the problem lies in the Bishop. He said, we still have to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. So this mind now try to be transformed into where Jesus Christ have us. And at the same time, it still I try to unpack the things that used to have us. Eh? So the Bible says, must cast down every eye thing and every what? Imagination. And everything that exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ, Bishop. Talk to me now, man. So keep in the word, keep in prayer, renew the mind. Because that's where the battle the buckle starts, you know. The mind. The mind. Bishop, I don't believe that Satan take Jesus and show him the pinnacle. I don't, that's my, that's my opinion. I don't think him take up Jesus and carry Jesus. It's the mind. He works on our mind. Him shows the things that we, we once were, and him shows the things that we see. And him say, listen, get back to that, man. Go back and do that. When you go foreign, man, nobody no see you. Go gamble and win some money and go back to Jamaica. Because nobody not going to say go to the gambling house. All right, Bishop? Them no see you. Say, so I want to bring us back to where we're coming from. And if you're not strong in the, in the power of the Lord and the power of his might, you end you know, up go back to where you're coming from. Talk to me, now, man. Bishop, it's a fact. If the children of Israel can't see God manifest so much power in Egypt, they can't see God over Red Sea. And when they're ready to believe God for manna, they start complaining. In Bishop, always oh, here, so. God just give you a deliverance. And some come here we again. And you start worrying about short memory, Bishop. <laughs> Short memory. You know, remember saying him didn't walk the Red Sea. And him bring you through River Jordan. Him bring down Jericho. Him deal with the Ishite and, and the Amorites. And you start worrying because you hear about another little situation. Short memory. Short memory. Oh, we are called today to reflect. To reflect on where we are in Christ. We are in heavenly places, man. Live above the condition because you're in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. The blood that Jesus purchased, the blood that Jesus shed, purchased you back to God and put you into right standing with God. God have to take care of you. You have an obligation, Bishop, to Jesus Christ to take care of you. And if you have that obligation, Reverend, what you worry about? Why you complain? Yes. Sometimes I take you through some little situation and I will worry about it. Yes, eh, Bishop? Sometimes I make a problem around me and we start to complain and worry. 
And we don't remember that Jesus got through the same thing. Hey, they nearly killed Jesus. When Jesus started ministry, the first time Jesus leave the wilderness and start ministry, them, them make we throw him headlong down a precipice. You know reach us yet? And you worry about the little light bill we cut off. And you went to your own camp here. And you worry about it. And you have stress over it. Eh? Somebody tell life on you, you start get upset and worry. And then tell life on Jesus. You know what lie then tell for him? Eh? Sometimes we go through looking rejection. Sometimes we don't get the appointment at work and they reject we. And we are worried about it. Sometimes when God makes you allow you to be rejected, he's doing something greater behind the scene. Sometimes when he allow you to be rejected, he might do something what? Bishop, you can't take my blessing with God after me. You can't get it. It can't fit you. <laughs> Can I talk to you, church? When God said to Samuel, go down to the house of Jesse. I'm going to look for your man we have down there. I'm mean, not tell you who me have, but just go with the anointing. <laughs> hey! And Jesse call up all of the boys of them. I never remember saying, mother, a servant man. That is out there serving, looking after the, the animals. And the Bible says, Samuel tried to pour out the anointing. <laughs> and Bishop, Samuel said, I got to have the blessing. I got to have the blessing, Bishop. And when it pour and it pour and it pour, and him himself see one of them, he said, this, this one look like the one. Nobody ever want to worry about the other rest. And the anointing still never flow. <laughs> and when he reached the last one, he must have said, what is this guy? He said, Jesse, something wrong, man. God no miss. God can't miss when he sent the blessing. God can't miss when he sent the blessing. God can't miss you when he sent the blessing. Talk to me now, church. You don't have to worry of concern. I get work up. He now miss when he sent the blessing. Bishop, he now miss when he sent the blessing. He said, Jesse. Yes, he said, I have another son, man. Send call him, Bishop. <laughs> and when him call David, and David come up in line, and David, Lord God Almighty, I love God to call you, man. I love God to call you. I stop positioning yourself. Because when you position yourself, it becomes a problem. But when God call you and position him, empower you to take the task that's ahead of you. Talk to me, now, man. Some of you are self says. I'm selling myself to make sure that I. <laughs> Are you in the corporate world, Bishop? I'm selling. I'm going to make sure that I sell myself. Don't mean me wrong, you know. I don't mean in the other way. I mean, you put yourself together to be attractive to get what you're going after. And we do it just to impress. Imagine that, you know. The man get called serving. So when he comes, they're going to smell like the sheep, them. <laughs> but God will call you, Bishop, in the miss. Stop positioning yourself and make God position you. That is our problem sometimes. Sometimes you feel like they're going to dead left a will. And they start fight before the, 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 the person dead. Before the person dead, they must fight. Hey, yeah, Bishop. I mean, to take care of her before she. Be, you, you don't know how much thing we do. God, if God forgive you, we get it. <laughs> my, I like to put myself in the message. My, 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 my father-in-law said that he has a van that he's going to give my daughter before she came back to Jamaica. He said, I have a van. And he said, this is for my daughter. You see, when we, he said, my daughter, by, she got a new van recently. He switched the wheel. He said, I'm not going to give out. <laughs> I'm going to give it to somebody else. Lord God Almighty, Bishop. And that's how we stay now. If you promise somebody something, no matter what they have, man. Release it upon them. The Bible says we don't give out a necessity. <laughs> but we give because we are blessed to be a blessing. And I talk to your church. Jesus Christ bore it all for us. Who is to you? 
Is he your Lord and your God? Or is he a little Andy man? You want to just see him as a deliverer? And not a Lord? Do you just want to see him as a way maker? And not the Lord of your life? Because sometimes when you don't make a way, Bishop, somehow we gone. Gone. Church, you know how much time I walk on my church in my days when I couldn't drive? And I do have no money to walk on my church? Because we never serve God because of what he can give us. We serve him for what he has done for us. And we walk to church. But sometimes I want to go to church. We ask for a little money. And we get some money, Bishop. Sometimes I'm tired of we are church. Because we come like the orphan plate. We go ask the one or two there. We ask the one or two man. Because we never have none. No. None, Reverend. Two will claim to back me and my wife. Without label. But Jesus Christ. Can I talk to your church? When you allow him to be Lord. I'm not perfect, you know. I'm still a work in process, but I allow him to be Lord. I don't allow you to be, when you allow him to be Lord. You direct your part. And we work in the church, Bishop. There's never a time church call that we're not really dead. There's never a work there. Our anniversary, we go work on church building. And we give ourselves to the Lord. Because of what Jesus Christ has done for us. When we look back and see the travail of his soul. And how he bled, how he died. Crucified. Spat upon. Ridiculed. Lied. Ah! And when he went before Pilate all. And they boxed him and they put a crown of town on him. And he said, why you box me, man? They boxed him. They put him out there. They said, crucify him. Crucify him. And when, and when they push him out to the cross, because of his humanity, he must get help from another human. And they say, Simon, I'm sorry, you help him carry the cross. And you help him carry the cross, because his journey was Golgotha. Bishop, his journey had to take him to Golgotha. And when he went onto the cross and they cried, he said, Father! Father, forgive them. Forgive them. Forgive Blair. Forgive Bishop. Forgive them. For they know not what they have done. And then he said, and the Bible said, he cried out, Eli Shabbat. And he gave up the ghost. And he bowed him in and died. And when Mary and Martha came to look for him. The tomb was empty. All they saw in there was a linen cloth and a napkin. Jesus stepped out at the resurrection and the life. Oh, what a God he is. And after he had done so much for me, he's worthy to be Lord of my life. Lord of my life. And God of my life. Bishop, the problem we have in the church is that if people allow Jesus to be Lord, you don't have to preach so hard. If they allow him to be Lord, the blessing that we'll have received. Is he your Lord this morning, this afternoon? Who he is to you? What he is to you? Thomas said, my Lord and my God. Is he your Lord today? After knowing what he has done for you, you're going to shout change him. You're going to shout change him. Bishop, it hurt me sometimes to see how people serve God. Like they're doing God a favor. It's true. It's true. Sister Allen, sometimes we serve God like we're doing God a favor. We're not so allowed for him. He can't ask for the something, but not ask for the something. But God wants things. I got up your time. And if you give it to him, I will take it back. And put it in the hospital for lie down for your back. Talk to me, no man. So when it's, we call for prayer meeting, come. When we call for our door, come. That's the least you can do for him. For what he has done for you. To be your Lord. So today, we're going to recommit ourselves to the Lordship of who he is. And the God of who he is. We're going to recommit ourselves. 
Bishop, I feel like we need to recommit ourselves. As we reflect, we will reject. As we look in, we look out and look away. Today, some little things that is affecting us, some little event, some little things, some little things in our lives. I'm searching my life these days in a bishop. And I'm saying, God, we need to fix. We need to fix for me, Lord. I can't walk tomorrow with the same problem I have yesterday. I need to fix this, Lord. I need to change this. Because the old man won't bring me back to jealousy and bad mind and covetousness, envy and strife. The old man wants to bring me back to where you're taking me from and where you want to take me to. So today we're going to recommit. We're going to recommit to the cross. We're going to recommit to the blood. We're going to recommit. We're going to recommit to him as Lord and God of our life. Today, when I feel in my spirit that all of us should just go down before the Lord and just talk to him. Hey, God, something that we have said, something that we have done, talk to him. Today, the blood is still available. The atoning blood, the purchasing blood that redeem us and bring us back to the Father. Sister Lucy, I don't know if you know that song. So Jesus, keep me near the cross. Near a Calvary's point. Near the precious. Hey, Jesus. Jesus, keep me near the cross. Keep me near the cross. Near a Calvary. Point. Dear to walk the healing stream. Flow from Calvary's fountain. In the cross. In the cross. The cross that he carried. He was despised and rejected, but he carried the cross. He was ridiculed, but he carried the cross. He never let go of his purpose to die for us. So we should not let go of our purpose to live for him. Go ahead, Sister Lucy. Jesus keeps me near the cross. There's a precious fountain free. From Calvary's mouth, oh, in the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever.
Jesus. Hallelujah. In the cross, in the Hallelujah. cross. He has provided the cross for us Jesus. so that we through him today Thank you, Jesus. can be delivered and set free. Thank you, Jesus. I feel led like that this afternoon you make your own altar where you are and you talk to God today. Whatever the condition is, whatever the problem is, the cross provides through Jesus Christ deliverance. If it's healing you need, the cross through the blood of Jesus provided for you. Talk to him. Talk to him today. He's available. Thank you for the cross, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the Christ of the cross. Thank you for the blood that atone us through the person of Jesus Christ. Atone in blood today. reflect we will reject today as we look in we look out and look away thank you today God thank you for the atoning blood that allow us today to be seated in heavenly places Thank you that the blood cleanses us and purchases us. The blood atone us and we are healed through the blood. Because healing is provided through the atoning blood. Somebody's believing you for healing today. 
as we come to submit ourselves to the blood that was shed. We thank you that the blood provides a comprehensive deliverance from sin, sickness, disease, anything. Thank you today, God. Thank you today, God. Thank you today that the blood will see us home. One golden daybreak, the blood will see us home. And when this toys of life is over, we rest beyond the shore. Thank you for the blood that preserve us and will bring us to glory. Thank you today, God. Thank you for the blood that fix us. The blood that transform us. Thank you today. That the blood that come in covenant with us. Oh, we love you today, God. We thank you for Gethsemane. We thank you for Golgotha. And we thank you for the empty tomb, the barrel tomb. You rose triumphantly and allow us this privilege to be seated in heavenly places. Thank you. I bless you and honor you. I glorify you and adore you. I lift you up. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. And as you prepare, we do. the man of God, can you just sit here a while for me, man of God? Bishop, I feel you should come and cover this man of God as you prepare to take over the next session. Could you just come and pray? Could the Reverend Brown, oh, Reverend Brown is worshiping. We need you to pray. Sister Dawn Smith, Minister Reverend Dawn Smith, please come. Lay your hand on the man of God. Hallelujah. Keep your hearts right there. And just before you come with your emblems, as the man of God is being prayed for, I want Juliet from Canada to know that we will be praying for you. We want Sister Sam, our own Sister Joyce Samuels, we want you to know we will be praying for you. We have already, but we will be praying for you. Sister Joyce Samuels, our own Mother Joyce. Amoy Johnson will be praying for you. Carol Forbes. Sharon Barnes. North Lynn Watson. Clarice Gregory. Cherry McCoy. We will be praying for you. Latoya Satchwell, Andre Smith, Carlene Brown, Carmen Chambers, Jasmine Hines, Maxine Dugan, Latoya Rose, Sister Cottrell, Canada. We will, the Campbells, Canada. Sister Thompson. Dobson, Dobson. Sister Dobson, we will be praying for you. And Brother Marlon Campbell, we will be praying. Your requests are here. We don't have to read out your requests. But as Bishop comes right away, you may come now with your emblems and your offering, and Bishop will be prepared. But I have read out the names, Bishop. We don't have to say what. But... Bishop, I'm going to place the papers with your request on the table. And Bishop, in his deliverance hour, will also rest his hand upon it. Please come. Still God bless you. My
Hallelujah. Somebody just worship God. Somebody just worship the Lord. Somebody just give glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Have you thought about it? Had it not been for the old rugged cross, had it not been for the man, Christ Jesus, then my soul would be lost. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Where would I be? I don't know where I would have been, but I thank God for the old rugged cross and for what it has done for me and I know for you as well. We're going to be, I'm going to be asking all the per persons to come now. My brothers and sisters, we give God thanks for that word. Put your hands together. Put your hands together for a word from Almighty God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank God for Reverend Blair. Drink your water and come back, Rev. And Sister Clark, please come. Hallelujah. It's prayer time right now, my brothers and sisters. And I want you to just believe God with us as we stand here. We stand here to lift up all of these requests to God. And we're believing God that he, oh, hallelujah. 
we're going to be praying for this little girl first of all believing God we are lifting her up now before the almighty God and we are believing him for deliverance in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we come to you on behalf of this little girl almighty God we come believing you. We curse every plan of the adversary. We believe that it is your will, oh God, for her to be healed. God Almighty, I pray now that the blood of Jesus Christ that flowed from Calvary, oh God, God would surge up through her now. We pray that the blood, oh hallelujah, that give us strength from day to day, the blood that has never lost its power, we pray that that blood, oh, would be upon your daughter, surging through her in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever is the situation, we curse it now. In the name of Jesus, we curse it, we curse it. We speak deliverance, we speak healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Christ of Nazareth. God, we curse every plan of the adversary. We curse every demonic oh, oppression. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, God, we, we curse the devil of your daughter now and we, we claim deliverance, healing in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Be made whole. Be made whole. In Jesus' name. 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 We are, oh hallelujah, we are believing God for her. And we are believing God for every sick person in the building now, right now. Whether you put a request here or not, I ask you if, you, if you have a request, stand. If you are sick and you believe God, stand where you are right now. Ah, God Almighty, healing Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. My God, my God, look on people who are not. Hallelujah, mighty God, mighty God. Here are your people. God, they need a touch from you. Oh, God, oh, sickness of every kind. Sickness, oh, God, of every type. But we lift them up to you now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, we pray that your healing power would flow through this place right now. And God, your people, oh God, they would receive deliverance and victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed, be made.
made whole in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Touch, touch now, touch everyone, touch everyone now. Touch them with the blood, the healing blood. Divine healing is provided for all in the atoning blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Receive your healing, receive your deliverance, receive your victory now in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed. Be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be healed, be made whole in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Believe God as you go. Believe God for, your for the touch. Believe God for deliverance. Believe God for victory. My brothers and sisters, he is a healer. He's a deliverer. That's why he shed his blood on the cross that you could be delivered from every sickness. Uh, hallelujah. And every disease. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Claim your victory now. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. It's prayer time for the table. Right now, we believe God. We believe God. We are crying out to him. Some things only go out by prayer and fasting. And we're on fasting today. And we believe that some things must go out today. In the name of hallelujah, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Oh, come, brethren, our oh, God Almighty, we lift up every one of these requests to you this afternoon. Oh, God Almighty, there are so many oh, different needs, different situations, different circumstances. Oh, mighty God, we ask you right now, oh, God, for your touch upon everything. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Those that came, oh, God, um, oh, from people online, we ask you for your touch now. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ uh, of Nazareth that you'd visit them wherever they are, whatever country they are, whatever situation they may be. I pray, God Almighty. Mighty that the hand of the Almighty God would be upon your children, every situation, every circumstance in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Touch them now, touch them now individually. You know every request, you read them already. And we pray, God, that the blood of Jesus, oh hallelujah, would be upon every one of them in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. God, we are touching them now. God, we are touching them now in the name of Jesus. We are touching them now and we are believing you now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, for everything, for everything, for everything. God, we are crying out. We are crying out to you now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We touch all of these written requests. We pray, oh God Almighty, that whatever they may be, that God, you touch them now. Touch now. Oh God, let the 
blood oh hallelujah that flowed and Calvary's hill oh hallelujah the blood to which we get our deliverance we pray for deliverance now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth touch God touch deliver set free loose loose in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth thank you Lord oh hallelujah thank you master thank you for your touch thank you for your deliverance thank you for your victory now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God thank you thank you for touching thank you thank you for deliverance thank you for victory in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 oh hallelujah oh hallelujah we're gonna ah glory to God oh hallelujah we're gonna ask God's blessing upon the gift now hallelujah hallelujah oh hallelujah Almighty God in the name of Jesus hallelujah we bring this oh hallelujah continue to you with all the gifts that your people have given God you have been blessing your people you have been blessing missions hallelujah and we give you thanks hallelujah we give you thanks Lord for all that you have been doing and God we know that you have much more to do and we thank you for every single one who has stretched their hands to give anything oh God to missions God we lift it up to you now we lift up every gift to you we lift up every situation to you oh God and we ask you God that you as you bless them maybe you want to multiply it back oh in more material blessing in financial blessing but if you want to give good health to somebody if you want to work it out in a, a deliverance for somebody if you want God whatever you want to do if you want to give somebody a breakthrough oh God because of this have your way but we lift it up to you now and we speak multiplication in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth God receive these gifts multiply them back to your people in whatever way you please in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray amen and amen and amen hallelujah hallelujah
Bless you, man. Brothers and sisters, thank you once again for coming out to fast. And God bless you. You have done well. I want to once again thank our fasting director, Reverend Dr. Rolette Loretta Drummond, for the tremendous work she continues to do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to thank the team that works with her as they continue to see to it that this fasting is carried out every week to the glory of God. I want to um, say thanks to Reverend Blair. Man, that was a tremendous word. God bless you, Rev. Thank you for the word. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, you need to know that Jesus Christ is your Lord and your God. Like Thomas, my Lord and my God. That was an exclamation. He recognized who Jesus was. And he couldn't help him say, my Lord and my God. God, hallelujah. There was so much wrapped up in that. Hallelujah. You're my Lord. Oh, God Almighty. You, hallelujah, you have all claim over me, all authority over me. Hallelujah. My God. 